Pollinators. National Pollinators Month in June encourages the planting of pollinator gardens of native, non-invasive pollen and nectar producing plants. When these gardens bloom, they attract bees, birds, bats, and other natural pollinators. Do you have a spot that could benefit from a pollinator garden? Well, get planting. Choose bright flowers. The colors and scent attracts pollinators to your garden. Plant for every season. Well, this means primarily to choose a variety of plants so you're attracting pollinators all year long. It also has another purpose. In the winter, these plants may be dormant, but they will provide a variety of seeds for pollinators to eat, bringing them back year after year. Bees love blue, purple, and yellow flowers and plants. Keep these colors in mind when choosing your landscape so you can be sure you plant flowers they will notice and buzz over to check out. Welcome insects. Most of them are pollinators too. Good bugs have the benefit of helping to keep pests at bay. Invite birds to your garden. Add birdhouses, provide seed or flowers they enjoy, and supply a water source. Many people think only of allergies when they hear the word pollen, but pollen plays a vital role in the health of our environment. Pollen, the plant's male sex cells, must be transferred from the anther to the stigma of the same or another flower for the plant to produce fruit and seed. While some plants are self or wind pollinated, the great majority of flowering plants cannot move pollen without help from an animal pollinator. Pollinators make up a significant portion of the total diversity of species on this planet. In fact, between 200 and 300,000 invertebrate species, such as butterflies, beetles, moths, flies, mosquitoes, and bees, are estimated to serve globally as pollinators, as well as around 2,000 vertebrate species, including birds, mammals, and reptiles. A majority of plants, more than 70%, depend on insects, birds, bats, and other animals to transport the pollen. Pollinators play a significant role in the production of over 150 food crops in the U.S. Among them, apples, almonds, blueberries, cranberries, kiwis, melons, pears, plums, and squash. Pollinators are important in the production of an estimated 30% of the human diet, fibers, edible oils, medicines created from plants, and other important products around the world. In the U.S., the annual benefit of managed honeybees to agriculture was estimated as $14.6 billion in 2000. The southeastern blueberry bee illustrates the economic significance of native pollinators. In her few weeks as an adult, a single female bee visits about 50,000 blueberry flowers, resulting in over 6,000 marketable blueberries worth about $75. Studies in California's Central Valley have shown that a suite of three dozen or more native bee species provide pollination services on a single farm and can deliver sufficient pollination even for crops with a heavy pollination requirement such as watermelon. In watermelon, up to 1,000 grains of pollen must be deposited on each flower within only a few hours to get marketable fruit. 
I wouldn't mind a piece of watermelon about now. Bumblebees have long been recognized as important pollinators of crops and native plants. In recent years, they have been reared commercially and used to pollinate greenhouse crops, particularly tomatoes and eggplants. They can keep the eggplant. The number of managed honeybee colonies in the U.S. has also decreased by more than 50% since 1945. Another 50% have been lost since then, half of that during the 1990s. The National Research Council report, Status of Pollinators in North America, unequivocally states that pollinator declines are occurring. The report identifies the main causes of decline as habitat loss, pesticide use, and, especially in honeybees, diseases. It spotlights the urgency of action to conserve pollinators and their habitat. Many factors are believed to be responsible for what is called colony collapse disorder. Some combination of pathogens, parasites, environmental stresses, and management stresses are likely to be the cause. Many experts suggest that these declines illustrate the danger of our heavy reliance on a single species for most of our pollination needs. You can put a mason bee house in your yard to attract these non-aggressive bees. Orchard mason bees are small bees native to North America and are very good pollinators for flowers and fruit trees. They visit as many as 1,000 blooms per day.